Hey guys, it's the girl Stephanie Ashley back with another video. I know I've been gone for a minute, but let me tell y'all. Okay, that's beside the point. This video, I'm gonna be telling you how I lost weight in 2019. Give you some tips or tricks, tell you what I be doing, what I be eating, and all that good stuff. So, no long talking, no jabbering. Let's get into the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to see what you go doing here on this channel. Come on now. Enough of this. Let's get into the video. Okay, so anyone who follows me on Twitter or knows me personally knows that I have been doing keto since an eternity later. Since like end of January, early February ish of this year. In January, I made it my like every year I make it my resolution to lose weight. I've been doing that since yes i've been doing it for a long time and this is the first year i finally decided you know what this, this is enough this is enough it's yeah you're cute but he you, you you're pushing it to the edge now you look you're going a little too far so i decided i needed to do a life change keto is a moderate protein high fat low carb diet period the keto diet is when you reduce the amount of carbs you consume in 24 hours. So basically on a normal day, Bahamians especially is eat a lot of carbs. Like when we eating a, a nice meal like today, I filmed on Father's Day. A nice Father's Day meal including your potato salad, your, your, your crab and rice, your macaroni, you know, your coleslaw, your corn. That's then, I spend a lot of carbs right there and I even the full plate. So once you cut down the carbs, like for me, for my height and my weight, I eat 20 grams of carbs a day. Let me let you know. 20 might seem like a big number. It's not. It's not. It's not a big number. So because of this, re this drastic reduce in carbs, your body now is forced to burn fat cells instead of the carbs you intake. So they burn your fat instead of eat, eating carbs so yeah that's what keto is how do you know when you're in ketosis so what, what is ketosis actually ketosis is when you already start keto you lower your amount of fats i mean you, you lower your amount of carbs and your body starts to produce ketones after breaking down your fat cells so ketones is something in your that's already naturally in your body but when you break down fat cells the number the amount of ketones increases because it's an acid that's released when fat is broken down, why I feel like a like a scientific lecturer. I ain't gonna lecture, I just wanna give you all the science and everything to show you how things actually work before you decide to do this to your body. Know what you're getting into at all times. Okay. So when you're in ketosis completely, this amount of the amount of ketones in your urine should be in a certain bracket. And if you're not in this bracket, that means you're not doing the diet successfully. So that's why I really, really um encourage people who are on keto to get ketone test strips you can buy this at a local pharmacy and i just use that to test the ketones in my urine so that is a good thing to know because if you don't if you're using the strips and it's not showing the right amount of ketones in your urine then you have to adjust your diet to make sure you're doing things effectively so <laughs> what is keto flu Keto flu, okay, whenever you're doing something new to your body, your body has to adjust. Keto flu will feel like a normal flu. It will feel like you, you're weak, you haven't like runny nose, all kind of stuff. You, you're just tired and you haven't like, you have a a fever, you're going to have diarrhea, TMI. But that's what happens. Your body's adjusting to not being, not to not having that constant flow of carbs in your system and it's breaking down your fat. So your body's adjusting in a way that it knows how. Don't worry, just um, 
make sure you're eating properly get the amount the right amount of carbs you need and do not starve yourself and keto flu go away like my I had keto flu for two days when I first started keto and like a normal flu it just goes away you don't need any medication or anything like that because it's not a real flu what are some things you cannot have and what can you have so you can have a lot of things it's not a very restricting diet but when it comes to being a bohemian culturally like i said previously carbs is a big part of our cuisine and so it might be hard for some bohemians but it was been really hard for me i mean it was hard to be but like you get used to it because you just start to eat different stuff and then you find stuff that can replace it so what are some things you can't have you can't have any kind of starches so you can't have rice you can't have um potatoes you can't have pasta you can't have um anything with flour in it or on it you cannot have um any really starchy vegetables this include potatoes like i said and corn corn is a very starchy vegetable you can have some fruits you can have you can have strawberries you can have blueberries and you can have blackberries and raspberries so you can have all of the berries you can't have any mango no gonna app even though it's gonna app season <laughs> no apple no banana no nothing like that you can have avocado avocado is a fruit you can have avocado what else what else what else can't you have no fruit juices so what can you drink y'all people who drink alcohol but like you can have no sweet alcoholic beverages and no sweet beverages at all so no fruit juices no coffee unless no 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 coffee unless you're making it from home and using sugar free stuff in it like you have to get a sugar free flavor a sugar free coffee pot like you have to make sure everything is sugar free um so i mean i mainly drink water and i drink um keto bulletproof coffee in the morning and then alcoholic beverage wise people usually drink like whatever alcoholic beverage you want and then to mix it with like sparkling water or tonic water club soda one of those with some lime but bears and stuff like that, especially bears and flavored liquors like mango Ciroc or something like that, have a lot of carbs in it. So you have to stay away from that. So one of the things that I really think helped me in the beginning of, of starting keto was the Carb Manager app. It's an app that can be found on App Store and Google Play Store. And you can download it, download it to your phone, insert your your age your weight and your height and it will tell you exactly how much fats you need how much protein you need and how much carbs you need every single day and it will show you where you go over and if you go over and it'll let you know like you need to adjust here you need to adjust here and it, it also grades every product so if you scan a product and like you don't know if you're gonna have it on keto or not you can scan it on the app and it can say keto grade a b c d e Obviously, A is the best thing and E is the worst thing. They let you stay. They tell you to stay away from anything past um, keto grade grade B. So yeah, the app is very helpful with that. Keto is not about starving yourself at all. I I don't be lacking meals. So yeah, I don't be hungry. I just eat less carbs. So that's the key. So what are some of the products that I use to make keto easier? I already mentioned the ketone strips, and I already mentioned the app. Another thing that I use every day is MCT oil. MCT oil is an oil that helps your body to break down the fat faster and to produce more ketones in your urine. So basically, it's a jump starter to keto and it helps you lose weight faster. But the thing is, that can cause you better to break down. Because if you ain't ready into keto properly and you put all these other products to speed it up into your body, then your keto flow is gonna be worse, worse off. So yeah, another thing that I use every day is sugar-free sweeteners. So like a sugar-free syrup or a sugar-free um like stevia or Splenda, that kind of stuff. I don't like Splenda or stevia because they, it is bad. But I use this sugar-free syrup. So let me give you all a brief summary of what I eat in a day. So in the morning, as soon as I wake up before I go to work, I just make myself, oh, stop. I just make myself a cup of bulletproof coffee. So, if you're selling keto, you're going to become very familiar with the term bulletproof coffee. But it's basically black coffee. So, you just make, I have a curate, so I just make a coffee in my cup. 
or in my in my blender and i put a teaspoon of mct oil a teaspoon of my sugar-free flavoring a teaspoon of um butter and a teaspoon of heavy cream the butter is to add fats into your diet you have to squeeze in fats wherever you can so that's why they put butter in coffee and then i take that mixture and i blend it up and it makes the butter makes it frothy so it can taste like you know like a little latte you know you know you know what I feel? when i first saw q i was like butter and coffee y'all can't be serious but actually it ain't that bad i don't taste that bad and you can't really taste the butter it just taste it is make the coffee since so you don't put no milk or nothing it makes the coffee very creamy for lunch i usually have like mashed cauliflower so if you know how to make potato mashed potatoes you know how to make mashed cauliflower it's the same thing it tastes just like mashed potato i usually eat it with pork chop chicken wings or like spaghetti meat because you can't have noodles so i'll eat that like that and mix it up like every week i'll have something else and then for dinner time i'll either eat the same thing because like i just make enough to eat it more than once or re more recently i've been making keto pizza let me tell y'all you can kind of regular pizza and keto but this pizza slaps slaps. It slaps that's what i eat for dinner and i forgot to mention that i also intermittent fast it's recommended that you wait about two to three weeks after starting keto to add intermittent fasting onto your diet because your body doesn't need to get used to two things at once so what is intermittent fasting intermittent fasting is when you fast for a period a short period throughout the day and you eat for the next period my intermittent fasting usually happens at night time and a little bit in the morning so i don't eat lunch i don't eat my first meal until one o'clock in the day okay, and then I, I eat for eight hours and i fast for 16 hours so from that that add up yeah yes yes it does so from one to nine is my window that i eat and then from nine to one the next day is when i fast during that fasting period is when i have my coffee because there's no carbs in the coffee your body isn't taken out of fasting so you can still fast while having that coffee because it's there's no carb this helps your body to lose the fat faster lose weight faster and it also isn't that hard because most of the time most of that time you're sleeping like if you're sleeping from 10 in the night to 9 in the morning that's a huge period of time that you're sleeping so you don't even gonna feel hungry throughout the day so yeah i think that's all i had to say that's it oh so I'll put my transformation picture right here. The first picture is from last year, May. Last year, May. And the second picture is from this year, May. So it's about a year in between. But remember, I didn't start keto until this year, January. So yeah, I already lost. I gone on 35 pounds. <laughs> Five more pounds. <laughs> And I'll be to my next goal. And my, how much pounds do I have to lose? 25 pounds until I reach my final goal where I'm gonna just do keto for maintaining. So, this is exciting. Round of applause. And if you decide to join keto, please comment down below. So we can be keto buddies. <laughs> we can be keto buddies i would love that y'all let me let me tell me down below if you have me on twitter on instagram or snapchat you have my number message me i'll give you some tips you can me some tips we can help each other out we can motivate each other because there's nothing like having no one to motivate you and you're trying to lose weight and you feel like the world against you because you see a bamboo shark advertising so you're not advertising you just want to eat so i'll be a motivator i'll tell you girl you will need that you will need them fries you're gonna be for carnival next year because yes i won't go to carnival at my friend did promise me we're going to carnival together. We're going to carnival so we'll get your bodies right. Okay? Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned a thing or two about keto, about getting your body right. Or just giggle a little bit. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I can see you. And I see you when you subscribe. Huh? What's your excuse? 
What's your excuse? Please let me know. Okay then, subscribe. Don't forget to always be your most authentic self. See you in the next one. Deuces. Bye. Oh, I forgot to mention. Okay, Stephanie, put us at the beginning. <laughs>